and jump up and shoot step in. and drop left right drop that's one of my favorite topics how to take down a striker with left right double leg let's check it out often requested how to take down a striker so the good thing about it is is that it's actually a lot easier to take down a striker than it is to take down a grappler, okay? The main difficulty is that most grapplers are a bit scared of punches. So the main difficulty is get close enough. When learning, the first thing that we will learn is like have a cover, step in, left, right, and double leg. Very easy, number one. Come here, move, walk, step in, left, right, drop, double leg. The punches don't even need to hit. You just need to make him think that we are striking. I'm like, yes, I am a boxer. I am standing tall. Yes, sir, we are boxing. You see, I'm trying to box you. And he's like, oh, it's definitely boxing. And drop, step in, double leg takedown, whoop. And then commence to do all that dirty Mexican ground jiu-jitsu. So, now let's set it up a bit better. He knows that I want to take him down. And that gives me a bit more freedom with my strikes. So if I just go in, it's very easy for him to defend. But now I'm going to add left, right, low. So I'm here, left, right, bam. And that will hide my intention. Now suddenly I'm left, right, oh, stepping in again. So the first punches just hit my stepping in. I come very close, close enough for the double leg. Now the low kick hides my right step. So I'm here and I'm like, ba ba boom, eh, it's a good combination anyway. And I'm thinking that the low kick comes, but instead I step in and drop again. And it becomes even much better when he's starting to defend. So when I'm here and I'm like, jab, ah, bam, bam, bam. Ah, he's not defending the low kick. Okay, so I'm coming, bam. He should start defending the low kick or I'm gonna kick harder. Bam, bam, bam. And I'm like, ah, okay, bam, bam, oh. So the more I make him sure that it's striking and the more he's defending my strikes, the easier it will be to take him down. If he defends my low kick, piece of cake. Because he cannot at the same time defend my punches, kicks and my wrestling attack. So if I'm making things that it's, ah, it's kickboxing and boom, double leg, so easy. Like the opposite, if I make him think that it's a double leg and a boom, so easy to hit. Now the next thing is that if he's like, ah, okay, you're striking with me and he knows I'm a grappler and he's like, oh, you want to strike? So then let's strike. So that makes it even easier for me because I'm coming in and he's trying to punch me when I'm coming in and oh, that's, that's like stealing candy from a kid because to punch me, he's standing, he's pushing his rear foot to the floor. He's not punching me and jumping back, hopefully. If he does, he's not dangerous at all. So I'm coming in and as soon as I'm within his reach and he's trying to punch me, maybe I'll drop, stab in, boom. Okay, so it's very easy, but if you're a grappler, there's one mistake that you need to avoid at all costs and that will cost you dearly if you make that very mistake, is to shoot in from afar. So if he's a kickboxer and I'm a grappler and I will try to come in and he's punching me and I'm like, ow, that hurt. I do not want that experience again and I feel that as soon as I'm within his reach, he's starting to punch me. And so I'm like, ah, okay. That means I need to shoot for the double leg from here. And now you see, I can't touch him. And now the trajectory of my head coming in and I'm like, ah, go for the double leg and boom. And then I go to dreamland. Instead, the maximum distance for the double leg is when I can touch his forehead. So I need to push into the striking distance. I need to come in and even maybe eat a punch or two and then go down. 
Because if I try to go down from here, I go down in a way that I will not like. Okay, so get comfortable with being punched. It's not gonna take long, I promise you, if you're the better grappler, it's just gonna be a punch or two. It's very much the same as when we're wrestling and we're hitting head to head, which creates a beautiful cauliflower ears. It's just that, except that his fists are even padded, you know, they're a lot softer than his forehead. So it's not gonna be that bad to come in, bop, bop, and shoot, and take down. And that, my friend, is the basics of how to take down a striker. That's the basics of how to take down a striker. Distance, timing, evasion, manipulation of what he thinks is gonna happen. Try it for yourselves and I hope you like it and see you next time.